Hi, Mark with GoldenTicker.com. On the last day of May 2013, this is Friday afternoon after the market close, taking a look at the NASDAQ composite. Down less than a tenth of a percent, so, so flat on the week. We've got two tight closes here. Make it three tight uh, weekly closes and forming a little handle here, uh, possibly a pause uh, for a continuation of the move higher. Uh, of course, we bottomed out here back in November and have run up ever since. So a strong move, staying well above this blue line, the 10-week moving average. Closed below it a couple of times, but no big deal. And uh, now moving higher, riding this red line, the four-week moving average higher. So uh, all the uh, key moving averages are pointed higher. So uh, the NASDAQ composite is in an uptrend. On a daily basis, you can see this little handle forming here. You can see the support here at this red line, the 21-day moving average. And uh, you can see the volume down here. It's been kind of average all week long. Uh, a little bit of a distribution a day here, nothing big. Um, uh, certainly getting support at the 21-day moving average. And uh, so uh, pausing here, uh, putting in a little bit of a wedge here. Um, let's see if we break out of this upper uh, line. If you draw a line across the tops here, that's your uh, point of overhead resistance in the short term. Let's see if we can break above that and get a close above that and resume this uptrend. I wanted to show you something over here on the uh, S&P 500 are putting in uh, 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 what I call a downtrend here uh, in the short term. Uh, we had a little bit of a wedge happening. We broke through that today by taking out 1636. Uh, we broke to the downside and lost our 21-day um, moving average here, closing below it on a pretty substantial pickup in volume. So the S&P 500 getting more distribution, looking a little bit weaker than the NASDAQ. Certainly, uh, uptrend is still uh, in place, well above the 50-day moving average here. Um, uh, losing uh, control of the 21-day moving average is uh, starting to put uh, the short-term picture into question. Certainly breaking above uh, a point of resistance here, uh, if you draw a line along the tops, would be bullish for the S&P 500. On to the metals now. Uh, here is the GLD, the gold ETF, of course, and this was only up a tenth of a percent. So very, very tight uh, weekly closes here, but gold still looking weak, um, uh, closing below uh, this red line, the four-week moving average, well below the ten-week moving average, and um, certainly closing down towards the lows of the year. So gold looking weak, although uh, we do have a uh, maybe a W-shaped pattern. Uh, forming here. Um, uh, I would love to have seen uh, uh, this side of the W, the 130.85, take out the 130.51 lower. So you get a real shake out there. Uh, uh, so uh, possibly uh, getting this W pattern forming here, double bottom type base. We'll see what happens. Uh, but uh, certainly challenging the lows. Uh, uh, nothing to get too excited about in the gold yet. And here's looking at a weekly chart of silver, um, down less than 1%. So three weeks of tight closes here, um, below the four-week moving average, which is pointed lower. All these moving averages are pointing lower. Uh, silver looking weak, certainly uh, uh, down towards the uh, lowest uh, of the weekly closes of the year. Um, uh, you know, a little bit above this 2081 here, uh, closing at 2143. But uh, uh, silver looking weak, uh, below the four week, below the 50, uh, the 10 week, uh, below the 20 week, and so forth. So uh, a different picture than stocks uh, going in the opposite direction. And looking here at the MACD, solidly in a downtrend. And the stochastics here, living under the 20 mark pretty much all year long. Embedded stochastics on a weekly chart, not good. Uh, looking down here at the RSI. You can see it below 30 uh, since April. Uh, this is usually an indicator that we're oversold, but markets, when they're moving lower, can stay in the oversold area for quite some time. So I don't put too much faith into that. Right now, all you need to know is silver in a downtrend, gold in a downtrend, stocks in an uptrend. One of the bright spots on the market, if there is one to be had this week, is the GDX, the gold miners. And this is a basket of, of your bigger gold miners here, up 7.27% on the week. And you can see, getting above this red line, the uh, four-week moving average, a solid close above that, coming up to challenge this blue line, the 10-week moving average. So nice move here. This is a true double bottom, too. We had uh, the market come down here uh, in mid-April, uh, a big gap down here. It got to 27.27, rallied up a full four points, 
and then pulled back, undercutting that previous low. A good shakeout there. And uh, forming the W, now taking out 31.27 will actually complete the pattern and change the direction of the GDX to the upside. We got a little bit of work to do. We got to take out this 10 week moving average cur currently coming in at 30.61. So just up ahead, uh, we closed at 29.50. Uh, so, um, uh, you know, less than than a dollar away here is is some major overhead resistance. So let's let's hope we can get above 31.27 next week and uh, and get a close above this blue line, and that will change the direction of the gold stocks, which could uh, wag the dog and lead the metals higher. So let's watch that one. All right. So thanks for listening, and have a great weekend.